Uh, Bill, what's uh, wrong? Uh, oh. Bill? There is a 17 year gap on average between the time a research finding uh, becomes available and, and the time that it reaches uh, clinical practice. So social media allows us researchers to go straight out to the public, to health professionals, and pass on that information a lot faster than we were able to do in more traditional ways. Um, I can go home and interact with people from all over the world who might respond to a tweet about this. So uh, we can also mobilize interest and we can have a lot of people tweeting and we can mobilize media interest with social media and case in point, this interview. We're just starting today, as you know, and we've already had over 200 tweets in one day. Uh, we're already up to close, well, 350. We're 350 plus views of the video all since this morning. And so, um, we're already having an impact, but ultimately we're hoping that people will look at the resources that we have on our website, which is www.cpainmoreclearly.org, and, and, and find out more information. We also hope that people will share their stories on the website. There is a part where people can tell their stories so that everybody interested in this can, 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 can read them. Um, so, Two things, people, uh, health professionals seeking more education, caregivers uh, sharing their stories, and people out there advocating for better pain management in seniors with dementia.